Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to your Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast. I'm sitting across, as always, Alex. How are you, Alex? It's been a long time since we've done one of these, right? We had yeah, a man. break. Yeah. Thanksgiving break, of course. Yes, it has. Um, how was your break? <clears throat> not long enough. Not long enough, of course not. Because, I mean, I still not. work. Yeah. Yeah. I, I do, too. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm, We didn't really have an actual break break. Yeah. Um, and in my work environment, I get busier. Yeah, on the holidays. So mine got slower, mm-hmm. but then I'm like, but I still got to go to work. Mm. Like I envy my wife. Like I like, like not at her being a teacher. Mm-hmm. Because, oh I, well, of course I have her because I can't do that. Yeah, but I also because she gets that week break. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I want a week. That does sound nice. That's but one I can of never be a teacher. That's, that seems so. It's so stressful. Yeah, probably right. You have the. Futures of a bunch of children and the break of your hands. Yeah, you could break much. them with any word that you actually said. But she loves it, so. Yeah. What do we do again? Oh, yeah. This is a gaming podcast. <laughs> this is your Easy <coughs> Achievers Gaming Podcast, where every Friday we get together and discuss the gaming news, the topics that we want to talk about. Anything at all we want to speak about is what we talk about. If you like that, please head over to all your podcast services and YouTube to give us a like. Give us the, the what is it, the f- subscription. That's what it is. The subscribe on YouTube. Follow us on yeah. the SoundClouds. Um, give us the, the Patreon bucks if you like that. Even more, give us a dollar. Head over to patreon.com slash easyachievers. Excuse the ruffling. I am hungry. Uh, Alex is, I brought Alex goodies yes. because my grandmother loves him so much. Yes. And his birthday is soon. Technically, Alex, from you... the day of recording, it, it will be tomorrow on the 4th. That's true. And since it's Alex's birthday, she always makes him goodies. And there's a bunch of just sweets and cookies. And you know Alex, he can't refrain from eating. I have to eat eating. something on the show. <laughs> <laughs> he can't refrain from eating anything. Right now, he's eating a snickerdoodle. That is her specialty. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you've ever had a snickerdoodle, mm. you have not had the best snickerdoodle. The snickerdoodle that my grandmother makes are amazing. They're, so soft. they're like they're chewy, though. That's yeah. what I like. They're oh, chewy. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. weird. Like you, when you hear a cookie, you don't think chewy is good. No, but then you, it is, and then it's like, oh, this is so nice. And it's crazy because I've been wanting something chewy, so I bought some like of the um, uh, chewy chips ahoy last night. Oh yeah, but those are like a sad <laughs> attempt at being chewy. They are chewy. Yeah, I just feel like they're missing something. I don't know what it is because I'm not a baker. But nope. it's <sighs> touche. <laughs> but that doesn't make sure. I, 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 I regret. Again, patreon.com if you like us. If you want to give us the bucks, five stars everywhere. Give us all the likes, all the comments. There are no news. It's a very slow week because of the holidays. I don't think anyone's actually waking up yet. So we decided to just talk. Yeah. We're just going to talk this week. If you don't mind us just talking. Alex, I have a few questions to ask. Mm. You said you did not watch XO19. I did not. There wasn't anything crazy other than me freaking out, of course, because Kingdom Hearts is mm-hmm. finally coming to Xbox. And then <clears throat> Final Fantasy coming to Game Pass. Yeah. All Every of them. Every single one that I'm excited comes to that, Game Pass. That I'm excited for. At some point next year. Yeah, that's how I'm excited for that because <clears throat> I mean, really I haven't cool. played a lot of them. And I'm like, do I want to bring up the, the Vita? Don't do I want to go on the do PlayStation you? No, and do no, this? No, you don't. No. You don't. Give, me, give me some achievements. Right? right. Speaking of achievements, mm. I was trying to thousand Star Wars yesterday. Oh, yeah? Good Lord. The, I hate I the games. You. I hate the... And this isn't... Te- I don't know. It depends on how you want to take it. I hate the games where the more you play it, the more frustrating it becomes. And I feel like Star Wars is one of those games. Nothing with the difficulty and nothing with the actual gameplay. Mm-hmm. I love all that. It's the actual game itself <laughs> running, <laughs> and it is not very good at doing that. I, I mine chugging. And see, you, uh, I'm having no issues on mine. And and I it wasn't because I left it like uh, <laughs> open or anything like that. It was a fresh open, and I started playing, and it just chugs at certain parts. I'm just like, ugh. And uh, just so, if just in case you don't, know, I'm playing on an Xbox One X, so I feel like that's that's unreasonable, <laughs> especially for a One X. Uh, system to be like chugging like that, especially since there's not a lot happening too. I'm yeah. just walking around. I'm not actually fighting anything. Yeah, I mean, maybe I haven't noticed, but maybe there's some parts or something where like a it, it'll, it'll feel chuggy. Mm-hmm. But I have I, I've been fine the whole time. How is how is your hundred percenting going? We haven't talked too too much about Star Wars. Mm-hmm. We'll probably do a spoiler cast after this. We haven't um, good. I'm. Uh, I, I think there's five planets. Yes. Okay. There's five. If anybody who hasn't played this, 
I mean, we're not spoiling yeah, I'm, it's not spoiling anything. Yeah, yeah, there's like five. I mean, there's no, there's no, there's no, like there's a, no details, details. Yeah, I'm just it's saying. like a Metroid kind of game. You Metroid go game, to yeah, planets yeah. and visit them. Um, um, very good. I liked it. No, yeah, I, I, I recommend it if it's out there. Sidebar. Yeah, look. there's a lot of issues, <laughs> a lot of bugs. <laughs> I ran into too many to count. Yeah, there's a um, yeah, there's quite a few, but it didn't. Honestly, it didn't. Conf- it didn't like bother me mm-hmm. to enjoy the game. It was only like maybe a couple parts. I'm like, okay, let's get past it. Let's get past this. And then I fixed it. I'm like, all right, cool. Now I'm back into the game. So it, and, like, I still enjoyed the game enough to where, because you know, there's there's a bunch of those glitches and errors. You were like, I don't want to play this anymore. There were a couple that were so bad for me. Cause there's an area that didn't even load, so I, I mean, had to it, like restart the whole game and redo that section like three times to be yeah. able to get it rendered. Correctly. See, that's probably like the only big one because that did happen to me. Mm-hmm. But like I, I restarted it, it worked again, and I'm like, all right, I'm good. <coughs> I don't, I I don't hate the the game didn't like the the bugs didn't destroy the game for me, but it definitely lessened the impact. It's like when I. In my game of the year discussion, when we eventually have that, yeah. probably sometime later next week or the week after, I can't. I don't even feel like I could give this the game of the year for myself, only because of the so many issues, and, and mm. it just bothers me so much that it's like this was a game that they had, like no, like they didn't have a long time to do, do with this because we know this is came from Amy Finnegan's failed game because they fired them and then they restarted the project and then they. <laughs> Quit that project. Bless you. Excuse me. <laughs> you did like a cartoon scene. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, Amy Hennig, Amy Hennig's game, who's the person who made Uncharted, were making the Star Wars games. She got, the, her whole team got fired. That's they crazy. restarted that game, then uh, quit that game and made this. So I think in all that time frame was two years. So they made this game in two years, which no. isn't a great amount of time. No matter what, they still wanted to make a Star Wars game. Yeah. And I'll I'll leave it at this because we'll get more than spoiler class. This would have been a great game given another year. This would yeah. have probably been an amazing game given another year. Yeah. Alex? Like I said, I mean, oh, but back to your question. I completely forgot. I, I don't the, remember what the question was. Uh, how the 100% was going. Ah. There's five planets. I've done four of them. Mm-hmm. And I've done all of them on my own. Mm-hmm. The only thing I've had to look up was one uh, sense echo. Because mm-hmm. it says it was the exploration was at 96%. I could not figure out where this thing was. Right. But other than that, I've done all the other ones on my own. Because oh, I, cool. I just felt like I had to. Right. So I'm just walking around. I'm like, you know, I wonder if I can find all this on my own. So I just started doing it. I'm doing something <clears throat> similar, but I'm more like... If I don't find one, I'm like, let me find a guide. So I've also only had to use it once, mm. but I'm, I've gone to the, I finished the three smaller planets. I'm going to the two big ones mm-hmm. now. I'm sure I'll need it again. Yep. Um, because I'm sure there's going to be hidden ones that I'm not going to feel like finding. Yeah. But at least they're not too hard. No. I haven't seen a one where <laughs> I had to like do a bunch of stuff to do this crazy thing to get it to work. So I'm having fun searching for stuff again. Yeah. Just with I'm really enjoying technical stuff. difficulties. My only issue. Speaking of Game of the Year, Alex, mm. the Game Awards announced their Game of the Year nominees. I figured we can go through the list Let's do it. and talk about it. Uh, just in case you don't know, the Game of the Award nominees are picked through a bunch of people, uh, influencers, you know, uh, news outlets, get sent a kind of document. And they can put, I think it's four nominees or five nominees for each category <coughs> that the Game Awards has. And then they send it back and they calculate all the things and put it together and put it up just so you know you do not they don't send you a document with names on it so you don't like pick a game that's already on you pick your game and write it in just so everyone knows because i saw some confusion people thinking like a game had to nominate itself in order to be considered game of the year that year no people people were confused (laughs) jeff Keeley, who runs the game awards almost has no rules for things like this like, like they, like they're, you don't, he like referenced it to where you don't technically even have to be coming out this year to be game of the year for this year. I think people have put their own parameters yeah, that, that happens, but someone asked and he said, there are no like real rules, rules to you this. Just you just pick what you want, what you want, want to write win. it in. Yeah. 
similar to the presidential election, Alex, <laughs> to where you can there's a there's there's a choice. Here we go. There's another choice, and then you can write in whatever you want. <clears throat> That's how you get the funny little things that you see on the news. Oh yeah. You no, can just the, write the, in what you want. There'll there's be the other with the line or something, mm-hmm. and you could just you do that, and you write in Kermit the Frog. <laughs> <laughs> And um, uh, and next year, I'm gonna try and get on this. I'm gonna, mm-hmm. I'm gonna talk to Jeff Keeley see if he wants to give us a because I want to vote for these things. Mm-hmm. I love this stuff. This, this is this is my type type of stuff. But let's cut to the to the meat of this. I'm gonna undo my jacket because it's a little warm. It's, it's, yeah, I saw you wearing the jacket. I'm like, I understand. It's cozy. It's, it's chilly outside. It was very. Chilly. But my wife keeps it warm in here, and it's and I woke oh, up like good. really hot. Feels good now. I thought it was gonna be. You know how you wake up in the morning, you're like, mm, I'm comfy. Let me sit. Give me, a, hate, give me a I couple more that. minutes. I was. I woke up hot. I'm so like, I'm reading a new mattresses because I need a new mattress. Okay. If you wake up sweating, <clears throat> apparently, it's because your bed is, uh, is either lost its, uh, I guess spring or whatever you want to call it, and you are sinking into the mattress, and your air is in a, and your body's not allowed to breathe. Mm. So you're too low in the mattress. <clears throat> Just a fun fact for everybody. So, <laughs> and see, my wife, I don't think she, I've ever heard her say that it's hot while we're in the bed. So I, maybe it's either my side because I'm fat. Mm-hmm. Alex is a fat lady. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> they've fat. never seen you, I don't think, no, unless no, you go I'm to the or something. Just, I feel big like boned. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're not fat. You're big boned. Oh, big boned. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Going back to it, but no. I yeah. I wonder. I have to. We we'll have to see. I I just threw a random fact to it. I'm sure someone was like, okay. <laughs> Like, and now they're gonna they're gonna go in their bed and they're gonna lay down. They're gonna lay and down. Start to see if they can sink. They're gonna look at their hands and be like, "Okay, I'm like, because it, cause it's like if you like you're halfway in, it like makes a like a, a indention that your body can't really breathe, so you start heating up." Yeah. <coughs> Again, random factoid. Insulation. Game of the year nominees. We'll start with the big ones. Let's go. Control. Okay. Death Stranding. Okay. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Again. All right. Resident Evil Two. Okay. Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice. Okay. And The Outer Worlds. I'm surprised with Sekiro being on there. Me too. I'm it's, surprised, it, I but tried also it. not because there's a lot of people like Dark Souls. Oh, God, yeah. So I mean, I've tried the, the game, and it's good, but it's hard. My God. I just I have to be in the mood to hate myself. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So I was, yeah. I'm just not in the mood to hate myself. I have to be so in, in the mood to, buy, to be able to buy another controller. That true, like it, it's just too much. I, I wish there, and it. I know this is a hot one issue. I wish there was an easy mode because oh, yeah. I want to play the game. No, it yeah, it's fun. Yeah, I love the world, but man, People I like, get I don't have to get past. It, it's supposed to be hard. I'm like, I get it. I have a job, and I don't want to spend time on this. Yeah. <laughs> um, Let me just Outer Worlds. I'm I, honestly shocked because I went back to it just because I was, after I beat Star Wars, I was giving it a break. And I went back to it, and I was starting to get into it again. But then I had to like do something, and mm-hmm. I forgot. I forgot about it. Yeah, again. I don't. I don't not like, like the game. Yeah, I, I want to. It hasn't gripped me yet. Yeah, I'm playing, and I'm like, this is game. <clears throat> I think that's just an interesting choice. That that game is game of the year. It was fun, but yeah. I can't. I. I mean, I had a friend who beat all of it already. I'm like, goodness. Resident Evil Two, is fine. It was really good. Yeah. Uh, a remake. Do you have any issue with that? Some people have discussed it's like oh, no. I mean, I mean, it's. I mean, it feels like a whole new game. I mean, I've seen the first one, the the the, the, the original. Yeah, the original. Excuse me. Yeah. And then I saw this remake. We when I tried it out, and I'm like, there's a lot of like graphics are good, combat feels great, but um, it, it, I guess it, it depends awesome. on the um, on the audience too, because mm-hmm. it could it didn't really grasp me. Like it, it was cool, cool mm-hmm. game. I just after a certain part of the game, I'm like, yeah. I think I'm done with this. Right. Yeah. I get it. But it's a good game now. Yeah. Same. I, I loved it. I beat it. I want to beat it again because there's two players you can be. Yeah. Be. Um, I want to play it again just to get the whole thing done. Yeah. Um, oh, excuse me. Um, and uh, I don't, I have no problem with it being yeah. nominated either. Uh, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. That was on the nominees last year. It was not. Was it not? So the reason you, you might think that, though, is because it came out December 5th. Of last year, I think it was December fifth, huh. and it it missed the the cross the, point the, the, yeah, the, that, that similar to Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order this this year, year. yeah. So the and do you know why <laughs> Super Smash Brothers Ultimate was on here? Apparently, in writing on the actual document, uh-huh. they said 
uh, for the nominees, and they said Super Smash Brothers Ultimate is nominatable to remind people. I a hundred percent believe that's why it's on there. Yeah, because it reminded people, oh, Smash Brothers, and they wrote in Smash Brothers yeah. to like fill in like one of the things they didn't have. Yeah, they had empty. I a hundred percent think that's right. Um, it's fine. I, I, I'm yeah. excited. I, oh, I, it's Smash. I, it's Smash. Mm-hmm. It's awesome. Um, and I love the DLC and all that. Yeah. The honestly, my real shocker, Death Stranding is on here. I've put 20 hours into that game, yet to even be halfway through it. I've yet to go back. People, I'm surprised as well. It's good. Okay, let me for it's it's a good story, confusing as hell. I like I like, but it's it it grasped me, I guess, more than it did you. Yeah, but I, um, I want to go back, of course. I, yeah, but I I just can't find a reason to. Yeah, because I just. When the game, when I figured out the gameplay was actual delivery, I'm like, uh, I don't know. If yeah, I'm I don't want to do be... this every day. Like, yeah, is this isn't see. So maybe I need to play more until the story and grabs see, me because I am interested in the BB. I'm interested in in the yeah. outcome of the sister, but I yeah, mean, and good it, lord, yeah, it, it's I, crazy. I, I'm very surprised because like I I saw such a mixed reaction on this game that I was mm-hmm. like, then and then I saw it on the the Cotty list is what I like to call no, it. No, it, it's it was confusing too because when I was playing it, I'm like, all right, I'm like 15. I was at 15 hours and I'm like, I'm not even halfway through this. I'm like, and then you were really like, are you doing just main missions or just or other deliveries? I'm like, I thought I was doing only main missions because you'll do the top, just the top ones are just it'll say like the Sam deliveries. Mm-hmm. I thought that was the main ones. Mm-hmm. Apparently not. I've done every single one of those. <laughs> and the, apparently, the just the main mission ones where I think there's like a highlighted blue, highlighted orange, lo- like light behind mm-hmm. the, co- the the the, I, the delivery. I find it weird and that I'm like, when <sighs> I'm doing the missions, I'm getting things, and I don't even know what I'm really supposed to do with them. Yeah, I'm getting the likes. No idea yeah. what that does. And yeah, I'm that I don't understand. And I'm like, I know I'm building stuff, but what do I need? All yeah, this I don't understand for? what the likes are for. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, you connect the world, but I'm mean, like. It's it's not Facebook. I'm like, why? What's up with the likes? It's very funny that at, in this crazy apocalypse, people are giving you likes. Yeah, like I don't understand. And is that currency? I the, assume it is. I I don't know. Not well, not for us because it's not like we can buy anything. Well, all, all we have is material. I wonder if it's XP then. I don't know. I don't know. It's a, le- it's, a, it, it's, a, it's a leaderboard thing for I us. Get, yeah, I guess. Like so. who has the most this is likes? Weird. I'm like. In my mind, mm-hmm. I don't care about the likes. Yeah. <laughs> give, me, give, give me stuff that actually helps the yeah, game. They can do something. Yeah, it, it, strange, but st- strange option. I would have preferred something else there, yeah. and we can talk about our own personal list after. Yeah. This. Did you um, see uh, Hideo Kojima and uh, said that he wants he uh, something about he was working on a horror movie or he's oh he, he wants to he I wants to and then yeah. he said he doesn't mind uh, Norman. Yeah, he doesn't yeah, mind the co- uh, his back. Yeah, he, might, he doesn't mind being Norman. Again. Which, when I hear that, I'm like, okay, so he's probably workshopping a horror game because yeah. he was talking about wanting to make a horror movie. Yeah, or horror thing. And it, when I hear that in Norman Reedus, I hear he wants to make Silent Hills, but yeah. just call it something else. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure he's just gonna do that. I I don't think it's that's wi- illegal in any way either. Even though technically he's doing a, the ex- a very same thing from something else that was. Can- canceled, but I assume well, no, it's because fine I mean now. it's just a char- it's, it's not it's not using the same character. It's just this actor that was. No, playing. I know, but I, like it would be like if I came out with something called Epsi. Okay, but there's Pepsi that exists. Oh, so like I was just I was taking like gray I gotcha. areas I gotcha. like that. I, gotcha. I don't know. I don't. I doubt there is something yeah. legal that he yeah. has tied to. I just thought it was interesting. Yeah, that. the um, article that I read is something. It was like, oh, they could. Who knows if they could be working on this training too? I'm like, no, there could be a second one for that. Well, How does he, that even end? He was asked, and he said um, <clears throat> he might make a sequel, but it wouldn't be direct. It would be basically okay. the same, like the same thing, just with a different. Uh, It'll be in the just, same universe, just a different character. Yeah, he said it wouldn't be in, in it, a direct sequel. So, I I don't know. I don't really, honest, honestly, like, I don't really care because I haven't hit baby. that high point. <laughs> I hope we get BBs back, of course. Maybe we can, maybe we can play as uh, Niels or the, um, what's his name? The, the Mike Mickelson? Oh, Mads Mickelson? Mad, his, Mads Mickelson. His character? Yeah, his character. Maybe, maybe, his maybe they could make, uh, make a sequel that you play as him instead. It's probably of him. something like Goldface. 
because they all have names like that. Yeah, Dead it's Man. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Or no, Die Hard Man is his name. Die Hard Man. <laughs> die Hard Man. Yeah. Because I die hard. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. Oh, the writing is something else in that game. Yeah, that was very, I'm like, whoa. It's just everything is so on the nose. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. There's a lot of parts in the game because I've gotten to. You're like, whoa. Like, this is, like, I was not expecting that, and that was actually pretty cool. Mm-hmm. But then it turns it, and I'm like, oh. Uh, the writing is, is what I point <clears throat> to where it's like, why are you so deliberate? Maybe it's because it's being translated into English, and yeah. just, we have different cultures and different yeah. ways of speaking. But, like, <laughs> just the way they talk sometimes, it's like, what is going on? Yeah. <laughs> BTs, man, those are the stress, most stressful things I've mm-hmm. had to play in a video Appa- game. Apparently, you can get pretty close to them, too, I heard. The oh, other. yeah. So, like, you see how, it's how close breathing, we are together? Yeah. Yeah, that's how close I was to one, uh-huh. and, it, and I had to, like, stop breathing because yeah. I, I didn't realize he was right. It was right. right there, and I was like, I was like, I, sort of, I slowly started backing up. Mm hmm threw a grenade down thing like the little thing and mm-hmm. it, it it started dying i was like all right i'm good mm-hmm. ew yeah apparently you can cut their umbilical cord too like without being detected of course you can i was like i don't understand mm-hmm. I'm, I'm not at that part of the mm-hmm. game yet but i said because i was looking at the trophies and it was and cord. it was like yeah it says cut a uh, cut a bts or some umbilical mm-hmm. cord mm-hmm. without being i think detected or something mm-hmm. i'm like how do hey, you have do you have like a big scissors mm-hmm. You just got an achievement. Make fun of Death Stranding again. <laughs> Control. Wayfair. Is the next game. Wayfair. Oh, okay. Uh, Control is the next one that was nominated. Surprising I, as well because um, <clears throat> apparently that game, I mean, I, I don't hear it talked about much anymore. So I was just surprised it got nominated. So it's a good game, though. I love the game. Yeah. I, I, we, 100, we over 100% it. You did. I haven't yet. Oh, I, I need to go back. I thought you went back to it. No, I need to. I wanted to do it before the new DLC comes out so uh, I can refresh myself gotcha. and then be ready for the DLC. Yeah, yeah, no, because yeah, 100%. I enjoyed it a lot. It I just kept good. playing it. It was so fun. Yeah. Um, I hate the ending, but. Yeah, it was really. It just like, stops. It like, doesn't even I, have I do, an ending. It just yeah, stops like I do have issues with, the, with <laughs> that, <stop>. like, <laughs> with certain characters and stuff. Like, you're not giving them a backstory They're and also yeah, yeah it just ends where yeah. you're like oh you did it yeah that's it Credits yeah it's come you're like oh. yeah what like it's hard like out of all of those and, like if i had to pick i'll probably give it to control just because i finished in 100 percent that one like i i can't i don't i i never that's really a good question yeah um, like if, if I, I had, had to give it vo- if you had to vote yeah so if i had to vote I, that's the only one that i've really <laughs> finished completely yikes if i had a vote it would be between control smash and resident evil 2 yeah i mean like i had uh, control is the only one that i actually finished i guess i I do control because i I mean i love smash but like is it like i'm not trying to say it's not my game yeah like it's not for me i love playing it with friends and 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 like and i used to be super into smash because i was playing it with my friends Mm -hmm. And it with it now, I'm like it. It's not really for me anymore. So I was like, yeah. eh. I just wish. And everyone said it. Mm-hmm. And and everyone has said it, but like, um, uh, Star Wars. Like it sucks that that's not nominated because it missed the mark basically. Mm-hmm. So just in case you don't know, there is the uh, nomination process where they send them out. Mm. People got Star Wars the day of the due date of your nominations. So you, you mm. could technically nominate it, but no one played it. So it would um, be kind of unfair if yeah. you nominate a game you haven't played yet, even though you know you might like it. Um, so no one did that. That's why it's not on here. Same thing for Pokemon, of course. Pokemon's not on here because of the same reason. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Uh, come it'll on. be on next year's though yeah if they remind people because people are not gonna remember and will it be on next year's i find that interesting you say that because first f- five months there's a lot of, of year there's a lot of games first five next months year, of yeah. the year cyberpunk last of us two uh watch dogs got delayed uh, to later uh, that year but it's uh, still what's good lord i'm blanking on all of them Cyberpunk, Last of Us, mm-hmm. Final Fantasy VII Remake. Man. Like, just those three games is I mean, like... I guess I'll vote on half a game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. No, I, it's, I I like picking on it because, I mean, I'm I, I'm really... In, I really want to play it. But I'm Which just, one? 
Final Fantasy Seven. Oh, like, like yeah. I'm, I, I just pick on it because I just I'm gonna be upset when that game stops, and I don't get the whole game, and I because and I know that I'm gonna love this game and I want to keep playing it, but I'm upset that I can't. So I'm yeah, like, I need. Um, I, I remember they said something that's about why I pick it. On it so hard. I remember they they said something about it where it was uh, <clears throat> they alluded to how they were releasing the rest of the game, mm-hmm. and that it it didn't. I didn't read it, so I have to go back and read it. But I remember say, someone saying something like that. Um, let's say they didn't. They they gave an answer by not giving the answer. <laughs> I think so. Really, the Square Enix way. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, exactly. the Square Enix way. Kingdom Hearts three. When's the release date? We don't know, <laughs> lest we forget. Yeah, when's the release date? Oh, well, we're 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 you know we're working really hard. We're, the game's we're, coming out really strong, you and know, you guys are enjoying it. <laughs> Goodbye. That what guys uh, we're we're hard at work yeah. <laughs> at giving you the best experience possible yeah, right? on the platform that all possibilities yeah except Xbox and, and Switch and, and all these other games just mm. PlayStation. Um, Alex, what game of the year nominee would you like on here? Right for me, of course, the blaring for both of us would be Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, because I was gonna I, say that was part I get of it. this year. I get it, but I would prefer. I'm Kingdom not. Hearts I, I give over it though. Second row, we so. waited so long for this game, and we beat it in like what a week or two. That's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah but I, like, that's any game. I don't know. How, how long did it take you to beat Star Wars? That's a good point. Yeah. So yeah. it's any game. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, Kingdom Hearts is really the only blaring uh, admission I can't, I can't, and uh, uh, Fire Emblem. I was really into it. But, so was I. But uh, I was really into it too. I'm surprised and then I no one voted for that. And I don't know how, how the votes ran down. I would have. I would have given it to Fire Emblem, to be honest, if it was on there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, really. I I, I, I told you I was enjoying the heck out of this mm-hmm. game, but then like I get I forgot what came out. We were playing. Um, Oof, Gears was it? Maybe? It, it might have been Gears and another omission. Yeah, Gears Five. If Gears Five was Gears on Five here, was good, I probably would vote for it. I yeah. would. Lo- I loved that single player that, so much. Yeah, that's crazy how it, was it so didn't. cool. It was so cool. Uh, action game is the next category. Okay. <clears throat> Apex Legends, another mission from Game of the Year. Okay. I know, like, I think we're not in a place yet where people take online games seriously, if I'm yeah. being completely honest. I just think, I think that's what it is, like, because last year, Fortnite wasn't nominated. I mean, come on. Fortnite was the Game of the Year. Yeah. Anyways, Apex Legend, uh, of course, by Respawn and EA. Mm. Astral Chain for best action game again. Just I've yet to try that one, and I want to try it. Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Okay. Devil May Cry 5. Okay. Gears 5. Metro Exodus. Strong list. Especially for action. And just in case you don't know, action for the best game in the action genre focused primarily on combat is what the thing says. So it's pretty straightforward. Okay. I would go... So it's Apex, Call of Duty, Devil Apex, May Cry. Apex, Call of Duty, yeah, Devil May Cry, and Gears 5 would probably be in my... I feel like a theme. lot of people are just going to give it to Devil May Cry. Because I mean, it actually, I mean, action is pretty. Yeah, I like, mean, that's and the Devil game, May Cry. Yeah, I just never, I never finished it. It would be between Devil May Cry and Gears, Gears. Five for me. I think I'm gonna put Gears. I think I'll do Gears because it didn't get nominated anywhere else. I think yeah. so. I go, I give it to Gears, but I could see Devil May Cry Five because like, like the things I'm doing in that game, I feel so cool. <clears throat> yeah, action adventure game for the best action adventure game combining combat with traversal and puzzle solving. Borderlands Three, Control, Death Stranding, Resident Evil Two, Legend of Zelda: Link's Awakening, Sekiro: Shadows Die. Twice. That's the other game I started. I have yet to go back to Link Awakening. Yeah. yeah, I need to go back as well. Like I was playing the heck out of it, and, and then I just stopped. Into it. Yeah, I, I just stopped. Um, I like, this, I I think <laughs> Link's Awakening will win, of course, because it's a Zelda, Zelda. game. It's a Zelda um, game. People are gonna vote for that, but I would say Resident Evil Two. And it's a uh, what is it? Action adventure. Action adventure for the best action adventure game combining combat with traversal and puzzle solving. So the best combination of those two things. Borderlands, Control, Death Stranding, Resident Evil 2, Link's Awakening, Sekiro. Mm. I would probably I'd do... Probably put, uh, I'd probably uh, put Link's, Link's, Link's Awakening. Yeah. yeah. I'd do Resident Evil 2. <clears throat> Art Direction. Okay. F- <laughs> presented by Samsung QLED, I guess. Let's okay, go. Cool. Hey, man, get your money. Yeah. For outstanding creative and or technical achievement in artistic design and animation. Okay. Control, Death Stranding, Grease, Serenario Wild Hearts, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, The Legend of Zelda, Link's Awakening. I have only played Link's Awakening, Death Stranding, and Control on this list. Yeah. And um, this is for art style? Yes. Basically art direction. But yes. Yeah. Links. Links. Yeah. Yep. It looks so nice. Yep. Do you, I think Links will win as well. 
Yeah. Audio design. Recognizing the best in-game audio and sound design. Mm-hmm. Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Control. Death Stranding. <laughs> Gears 5. Resident Evil 2. Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. You can tell this year was not filled with games people either remember or care about because it's yeah. like the same four games we've said over and over again i'm not gonna lie i i do give props to death stranding for their music mm-hmm. when you're on the bike and stuff and you're mm-hmm. just traversing and mm-hmm. they has some good music it was mm-hmm. so i like i forgot there was like a song or two and i'm like damn i want to listen to that again mm-hmm. like it was good yeah same but i think i'll have to give it to call of duty yeah i call of duty as well just because just of how accurate everything yeah. is and when you shoot a gun it just sounds just so a, yeah it's not so good um and control i would give it to if call of duty wasn't mentioned because control specifically the maze if you oh remember, you remember yes the maze? yes yes the, literally the just rock for that maze, part yes community support which is a new that's a new uh, one yeah it's a new uh, section of the game awards recognizing a game for outstanding community support transparency and responsiveness all right. Apex Legends, Destiny 2, Final Fantasy 14, Fortnite, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. And it's and it, what was the the, the community the... support? Recognizing a game for outstanding community support, transparency mm-hmm. and responsiveness. So what game has the best responsiveness to issues? Like this gate, this gun's too strong, or this and it place was is Apex. Out. What is it? Apex Fortnite Apex, Destiny? Destiny Fortnite Final Fantasy fourteen Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. All right, the last two you can move away. <laughs> Wait, Fortnite and Rainbow Six? Rainbow Six. Oh, and, and Final, uh, Fantasy. Final Fantasy. Yeah, because we don't play those games. Yeah, I played Rainbow Six back like I heard a it, year I, ago. I heard it's, it's really, good. I just hate the it's really good. But I wish, it's, it's I really wish hard. they would have like the, you know, like you know the thing that WoW does that you could play up to like a certain level or something mm-hmm. or just I, I'm oh try free to play yeah the free to play thing. I own it. You can play it. Final Fantasy? Oh, Final Fantasy. I'm yeah. sorry. I thought you were talking about Rainbow Six. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no yeah. Final, Final Fantasy, Fantasy. I get it. Yeah. Yeah, there, uh, it would be cool if there was a free-to-play to level 10, but I don't even think I'd like it. So, yeah. Prob- it, it's probably for the best. Um, I, I would say Fortnite, but there were issues I've heard in the newer ones that they don't share patch notes anymore. I don't know if that's still a thing, but I know early on when Season 2 happened, or I guess Chapter 2 happened, they weren't sharing patch notes anymore. Okay. So I can't support that if that's actual real and still happening. Mm. Um, Ape- they, these people all have issues. Apex Legends is a little too slow with things. Yeah. They take months to really patch something in. Um, um, and Destiny 2 is a similar thing where if something happens, like they'll admit they're wrong, but it, it takes almost a full season for something to be changed. Yeah. I was going to say it's between Fortnite and... Destiny 2 for Destiny me. Destiny 2, yeah. I was just thinking. And I'd probably... I'd probably, probably give it to Fortnite. I'd probably throw it to Destiny. Just because I love that game. Yeah. Content creator of the year. Easy achievers get... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> for a streamer or content creator who has made an important and positive impact in the industry in 2019, Courage, JD, Jack Dunlop, Dr. Lupo, aka Benjamin Lupo, okay. Ewok, Solil Wheeler, sorry, I didn't... I, Butcher that name. Grekfk, David Martez. That's an interesting name. <laughs> Shroud, Michael, Michael Gritsky. Okay. I would say Ewok for me. Um, It would be between Ewok and Dr. Lupo. Ewok is a deaf Fortnite streeter. Really? I did not know this. And yeah. I watched her. She's she's pretty funny. Yeah. Um, And uh, yeah, she's deaf. And um, she, uh, I follow her on Twitter. She's really, yeah. I mean, she's adorable. I like Dr. Lupo. He's pretty cool. Dr. Lupo, known for his charity donations. So mm-hmm. that would it'd be, it'd be between those two. I don't really care yeah. who wins. I, say, I care who wins. I don't. It, between those two, it is great. Dr. Lupo has done crazy amounts of money for um, uh, the Cancer Network. Yeah. So, um, I'll go Dr. Lupo. Dr. Lupo. Esports coach. The esports coach judged to be the most outstanding performance and contact in 2019. Alex, we are probably the most astute judges for this. <clears throat> Eric. Hog, <laughs> I don't know what that name uh, is. Audrey. Uh, I'm just skipping all of this because uh, we don't know Eric any of these Hogg. people. I want Hog to win because of his name is funny. Oh, you haven't even you haven't even seen the rest of them. Okay, N- Nuri Jang. Just try to say the rest of them. Who? Yeah, Fabian grabs Loman from Fabian. What, is that G- or Fabian? Is Fabian. it Fabian? Yeah, it is Fabian, Fabian, I guess. Grabs Lom- uh, uh, Loman. <laughs> Sounds like you're trying to say a sentence. You know what? The, you know, okay, that guy right there, if he had a different uh, camera angle, 
he kind of looks like a. Uh, did you watch Arrow when they had a character named Prometheus? I think so. And uh, Adrian Chase or whatever. I think it looks like him. I watch Kim that show more than you do. <laughs> Juan Gun. Kim K. Uh, Kim John Gun Gwen Yoon. Oh, uh, Kim John Yoon. Titium Merlos. <laughs> OG uh, Dota Two. Tutuan. I Mer- guess. Tutuan Merlot. There you go. Danny Sorzen. Sorzen, yep. Astralis CSGO. All right, which one's the one for we League of Legends? All, all right, there's... <laughs> I vote there's, for the hot guy. Okay, there's three League of Legends Four ones. God, I'm gonna go for them? Yeah, I'm going to go for grabs. So I'll do Remember that, that thing I sent you, the hilarious... If you haven't watched it, it's a skit from SNL about League of Legends. Oh, yeah. It is hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. It's you just know, like you, making fun of yep, League of Legends. Yep. So funny. And the what guy... Is go- what is going on out there? <laughs> <laughs> what did you think of what they did in the second half? I mean, they just pushed with no defenders at the points, and he's just like, "Yeah, crazy man." <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that, funny. Uh, when you sent me that, I just it was cracking. <laughs> I had up. no idea what they were saying, but because I feel hilarious. like when I used to play League a lot, and I'd, I'd mm-hmm. talk to you about it, mm-hmm. that was you. You're like, "All right," <laughs> I'd be like, "Yeah, man." So it's crazy. Yeah. Esports event recognizing a single event across single or multiple days that delivered a best of class experience for participants in-person fans and the broadcast audience 2019 overwatch league grand finals evil 2019 fortnite world cup iem catawice from 2019 league of legends world championship 2019 that is a crazy looking trophy yeah the international 2019 i'd probably give it to the Find uh, Overwatch League uh, Grand Finals because I actually watched that. That's what I was gonna really say. I cool. actually did. I uh, my wife and I actually watched the Fortnite one, like a little bit of it. I watched a little so, bit of it too. So It'd be I hard because the one. set design of Fortnite was so good because it would show you what each character was doing. So yeah, like that's why was doing a potion. Yeah. It was very easy to follow. Yeah, yeah. And Evo is always awesome, so it's hard to pick. It'd be between those three, but for me, it'd probably yeah. be Overwatch because it was just so much fun. Esports game of the year for the game that has delivered the best overall esports experience to players, inclusive of tournaments, game, uh, community support, and content updates, irrespective of genre or platform. Counter Strike Global so Offense people love from this game. Valve, Dota 2, Valve, Fortnite, Epic Games, League of Legends, Riot Games, Overwatch, Blizzard. Hmm. Overwatch for me. Was it? Oh, I see it. Okay, I was about to it's say, was the it most interesting esports game to me. Oh, I gotcha. Uh, yeah. Eh, I don't know. Fortnite was very interesting as well, though. Yeah. It's hard to um, pick. I'd probably do actually do Fortnite actually, just because it. I, I, whenever I see a tournament for Fortnite, I pop it on, just watch it for a little bit. Yeah. Esports host. Oh wait, what is your pick? Do you care? Oh, uh, Fortnite. Fortnite. Yeah, I, I was esports with host. That one. The best host or commenter of esports events, both in venue and or broadcast in 2019, irrespective of game or language. If, Oof, thank uh, you. You take, you take over for okay, the Okay, let's say. Uh, Ify Jokes. Oh, God, that doesn't look like a real name. Ify uh, uh, Ladies jokes. and gentlemen, I'm sorry. If I'm butchering these names. These jokes. all look perfect people. Uh, E-E-F-J-E. Does that sound like a real name? Uh, she's probably like European or something. Of course, yeah. I'm, I'm being Alex Machine American. Richardson. I can say that one. Yeah, we got that one. I'm a dumb American. I can Paul read that. Paul Red Eye Shulliner. Yeah. Red Eye. Good Lord. Alex Golden Boy Mendez. Yeah. Oh, I know him. I like him. Yeah. And uh, Duan Candice Yushuang. I go with Golden Boy, man. Golden Boy. I follow him on Twitter. He's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've, I've listened to him, and he's pretty funny. Yeah. Esports player. The esports player judged to be the most outstanding for performance and conduct in 2019, irrespective of the game. Uh, oh, Kyle from the guy who won the Fortnite thing. Yep. Uh, Lee Faker... From SK Telecom. I love people. I don't know. Good Lord. Look at all these Luke, people. Uh, Luke, oh, hey, it's, J- it's Sinatra. I know him. It, it, at the very end, Sinatra from Overwatch. Oh. I, know, I know him. Uh, and then I know the cow guy because he won a lot oh, of money. Gotcha. Yeah, I know the cow guy. <laughs> I don't care who wins. I think I just go to the game of the yeah, cow guy. Yeah. Esports team. I don't know any of these people. Astralis. Uh, uh G2 Sports, OG, San Francisco Shock, Team Liquid. I go San Francisco Shock only because that's who I recognize. Yeah, that's yeah. I was about to say, that's the only thing I could think of. Family game. For the best game appropriate for family play, irrespective of genre or platform, Luigi's Mansion 3, Ring Fit Adventures, Super Mario Maker 2, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Yoshi's Crafted World. 
Family game means Nintendo game, apparently. Because yes. these are all just Nintendo yeah. games from various developers. Um, probably Smash. That's the only other one I could think of. For family? Yeah, Yeah, because you could probably, probably all agree. play together yeah. with that one. Yeah, that seems fun. Fighting game. For the best game design, primarily God, around head-to-head game. Head game. <laughs> Dead or Alive 6 by Team Ninja. Jump Force, Spike Chunsoft, Bandai Namco, sorry, Mortal Kombat no. 11, Netherland, WB um, Entertainment, mm. Samurai, Sh- am I boring you, Alex? <laughs> no, I just, uh, I'm looking at these games, I'm like, uh-huh. are they good? Samurai Showdown, SNK, Ethelion, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Bandai Namco, Nintendo. Probably Smash. Smash for me. And I, that's the reason I say that is because I haven't, I played maybe two matches of Mortal Kombat. I didn't get to play it. When did you play Mortal Kombat 11? Um, I don't remember. Yeah, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, I, I, uh, yeah, I, I, demo I got, or something you played? I got a physical copy and then I returned it. Oh, gotcha. Oh, yeah, you did say that. I remember now. Fresh indie game. Presented by Subway. Recognizing a new independent studio that released its first game in 2019. And again, like you said, presented by Subway, which is <laughs> very funny. Zaw. For Disco Elysium. Oh, the game is at the bottom in the top. Yeah, I, I was trying to find. I was like, where is the game? I know. I, I, I heard of Disco Elysium. That's why I was like, oh, that's the game. Yeah, Disco Elysium, which I've heard a lot of people say. Uh, Nomada Studio? Uh, Nomada. 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 Nomada Studio. Nomada Studio. For, for Greece. Greece. Uh, Dead Toast Entertainment for my f- friend Pedro. <laughs> Mobius Digital for Outer, Wa- Outer, Outer, Outer Wilds. Wilds. Sorry. Mega Crit for Slay the Spire. That's a cool name. And yeah. House House for Untitled, Untitled Goose, Goose game. game. It will be between <laughs> Outer Wilds and Untitled Goose Game because I hear um, a lot of people talk about those two games. I, I do Outer Wilds because I actually played that one. Untitled Goose Game. It looks fun. I didn't even play it. I'm just, I like how it looks. <laughs> you like how it looks. Yeah. <laughs> game Direction. Or for Outstanding Creative Vision and Innovation in Game director or Direction and Design. Control by Remedy. Death Stranding, Kojio, uh, Kojima Projections. Resident Evil 2, Capcom. Capcom. <laughs> Sekiro Shadows Die Twice from Software. Outer Wilds, Mobius Digital, and Appear. Interesting. Uh, and these were all nominations for Game of the Year, also except for Outer Wilds. Yep. <sighs> game Direction. I guess Death Stranding, because like, Hideo loves to direct things. <laughs> uh, okay, now see, Game Direction... Awarded for outstanding creative vision and innovation in game direction and design. Okay, because my mind was thinking, like I didn't read that. Mm-hmm. My mind was thinking game direction as like where's where where it's where going. It, no, not literal figure. Not, not like figurative. where where it's going. Like oh, oh okay, I see where you were going with it. Yeah. It's good. But no, actually no, it's directing like actual stuff. directing the game. Like okay, do you yeah. feel like someone directed the game very well because you understand everything and direction. Like, yeah, that's draining. That's draining. It feels like a movie. Yeah. And it and I it, it, at the very least you are directed very well like the the that, story yeah. and it, it, regardless yeah. of the writing the story is placed in front of you yeah 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 game is for impact for a thought provoking game with a pro social meaning or message concrete genie pixel puss Greece from uh Nom- Nomada Thank Studio you. I don't know why I blanked on that kind words by Pop Cannibal Life is Strange Two by Don't Nod Sea of Solitude. Show my games. Have you gone back to Life of Strange? Or I'm waiting for the last episode. Okay. We're on f- episode four. Oh. And then episode five, I believe, is I due out f- before the end of the year or next year. I played the January. first, I think, first episode. That was it. I played the first episode. I think I started the second one. I just can't remember. Yeah, I, I played the first episode. haven't started any. I'm just going to wait till they're all out okay. because they were way too spaced out for me. Yeah. That's they were coming it, out like every I, three months. That's, why, I'm just gonna that's why I fell out of, out of it because I love the first it's one. way too yeah. far out. Way too far out. Yeah. Um, I um, give it to. I don't think I've played any of these games really. I played Laugh of Strange episode one, but it, I mean. Yeah, I mean. I, I, I've heard a lot of good things about uh, Sea of Solitude. So. Have you heard anything about Concrete Genie? Yeah, that's another good one. Um, it's about a bullying game. Basically, you get bullied and you find your freedom in art. I think or something like I, that. I, I'll go with that one because I've been wanting to play. I've been I've been wanting to play Concrete Genie. Independent game or indie game for outstanding creative and technical <laughs> achievement in a game made outside the traditional publisher system. Baba is you. Baba is you. <laughs> Do you know what that game is about? No. So basically, Baba is you. Uh, I heard this described. <laughs> it's very weird. So, Baba is you. Baba is you. <laughs> um, you 
figure things out by writing things in apparently so if baba is cat i think you have to do something with a cat or something like that it's 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 a word <laughs> it's a word puzzle game weird so okay. if you see there's a like a little dungeon here yeah you have to figure out your way out i think or something like that and you have to write in things that's funny so you have to do inside it says the word it says the rock and, then on the and I think it, it's literally open. Baba is you. So you are Baba. Yeah. And you can be anything. So Baba is cat. You turn into a cat and you can do something. I think. All right. It's weird. All Disco right. Elysium. Disco Elysium. I've heard a lot of good stuff. Haven't played it. Katana Zero. Heard a lot of good stuff. Haven't played it. <laughs> Outer Wilds. Outer Wilds. Heard a lot of good stuff. Haven't played it. Untitled, Untitled Goose. Goose Game. Heard a lot of good stuff. Haven't, haven't played, played it. it. Um, I've, I've played Outer Wilds. That's the only one. And I, I mean, I started it like literally started the game, got sidetracked, had to turn it off, and never went back to it. <laughs> I put maybe about an hour, maybe an hour. Um, and a half I'd probably it. give it to nothing because I haven't played any of these games. But I, w- I do want to at least play three of these. I want to play Untitled, I Outer have- Wilds, and Katana Zero. I want to beat those games before yeah. the end of the year. That's my goal. Okay, I guess I won't vote any because I, I don't know because <laughs> I haven't done any mobile game for the best game playable on a dedicated mobile device. Call of Duty Mobile plays really well by surprisingly. Timmy Studios. Grindstone by Capybara Games. That looks cool. That does look cool. Cerno Wildhearts, Simgo, and Aperna. Uh, Sky Children of the Light. That game company. What <laughs> the Golf Tri Band. <laughs> that game company. Yeah, that's their name. It's that's really funny. good. That's funny. Um, I haven't played really any of these um, games, so I'm not gonna vote on them. Go to Grindstone. Look at the on the top of the lettering. Is are those intestines? For sure, they are for sure intestines. They look funny. I think um, you. I've you heard fight th- things by doing a puzzle. Uh, I've heard of Cyanar World Hearts. I heard that's pretty cool. I've heard of all of these games. And uh, I, but I've played Call of Duty Mobile, and it actually plays really, really well. Mm-hmm. So, a bunch of people telling me that yeah. how good they are. Yeah, so I'm going. I'm going go multiplayer that one. game for outstanding online multiplayer gameplay and design, including co-op and massively multiplayer experiences, mm. irrespective of game or genre. Apex Legends by Respawn EA, Borderlands Three by Gearbox and Two K, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Infinity Ward, Activision, Tetris Ninety Nine. Oh, my game's messed. Uh, there we go. Tetris Ninety Nine by what is that name? Erica. Erica. Eric and, and yep. Nintendo. Tom Clancy's The Division 2 Massive Entertainment and Ubisoft. Um, Call of Apex. I'm going to go with Call of Duty. I'm going to go with Apex. Play the heck out of that game. And I'm still going back every once in a while. Yeah, me too. Narrative. For outstanding storytelling and narrative development in a game. A Plague's Tale. Innocence. I heard that's good. Abspo. Yeah, I've heard that's good too. Control. Remedy. Death Stranding. Kojima Productions. Disco Elysium. Za. Um. <laughs> it's a weird name. <clears throat> the Outer Wilds, Obsidian. Outer Worlds. Division. Is it? I, oh, it is Outer Worlds. Worlds. My bad. Control, I guess. I don't know. I, I don't really care about any of these games, I, honestly. Uh, I love Control, but nothing else. I, I, honestly, I can't, I, can't, I, I can't give it to Control for narrative. I have to give it to the <laughs> training. <laughs> I'm, I I I, unders- I, I, unders- will, I understand. I will take my vote away because I've and I have. I, I honestly, understand Death Stranding story more than I did controls. Really? Like uh, okay, not that I, I didn't understand it more. Is it? It's more complete. I get no. I agree with that. Yeah, I'm sure it's a more complete game <laughs> than Control. Yeah, because it looks like they ran out of funding and ended the game. I just that's what it, it looks like. It just like. They didn't explain anything. That's why it might. It just yeah. mm. ongoing game. Awarded to a game for outstanding development of ongoing content that evolves the player experience over time. Apex Legends, Respawn EA, Destiny 2, Bungie, Final Fantasy 14, Square Enix, Fortnite, Epic Games, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. Destiny. Destiny. Easy. Yep. I had the best year for me. I played so much of it. Yeah. You did too. You played yep. with me. Performance. My favorite category. Performance mm-hmm. awarded to an individual for voice over acting motion and or performance capture. Ashley Birch as Pravati Holcomb, The Outer Worlds. Courtney Hope as Jesse Faden in Control. Laura Bailey as Kate Diaz, Gears 5. Madison Mesikosin as Cliff, Death Stranding. Matthew Porritt as Dr. Casper Darling in Control. <laughs> he was pretty funny. Norman Reedus as Sam Porter Bridges, Death Stranding. I'm going to have to get Laura, Laura Bailey. Yep. Hundred percent. Yep. Kate Diaz is such a compelling character oh, in the God. acting in that is Especially in the new amazing. one too. Yes. Like 
I'm still loving the parts where like I'm just walking and you're like, hey, I'm having a vision. Mm. What? What's going on? Freaking out. Yeah, and then on your screen. And it's like shout out, out to Matthew Pretty for getting the nomination as the oh the, the dude, Matthew the, Peretta, the doctor that shows from up in control. all the things. That's what I was saying. He was me, pretty funny. It gave me such lost vibes from Dharma. Remember mm. Dharma, the old Dharma? Yeah, felt yep. such like that. Yep. Role playing game. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are still going. <laughs> Role playing game for the best game designed with rich player character customization and oh. progression, including massive multiplayer. Disco Elysium, Final Fantasy fourteen Square Enix, Kingdom Hearts three yep. is finally nominated for something. Monster Hunter World, Iceborne, The Outer Worlds. <laughs> so excited! I don't know, Alex. I'm really excited for Final Fantasy fourteen. <laughs> You know what's but funny? I guess I'd have to get if it you see that cover, they immediately took it from Final Fantasy 15. It looks like I, at first I thought that was Noctis. So it's it looks like the the Noctis holding the Buster Sword from Final Fantasy 7. Is that Noctis though? No, it's not. Uh, Noctis. Oh, okay, okay. It's just some random Final Fantasy 14. I think character Person. you can make. Yeah. Um, right. Kingdom Hearts 3. 3. Yeah. What what's up with the screenshot they got? Look at look how cool Final Fantasy 14 screenshot is. Look what Kingdom Hearts 3 is. Dude. He's making like a bunny ear. Like what's going on? All right. This is a very silly game. No, he's oh, I get he, it. no, he's holding his uh his trunk. His suitcase. He's holding it up behind him. Oh, he is. I I can't see it from where my phone was. <laughs> Again though. Bunny ears. Am I right? Yeah, it, it, like it, it, it could have been cooler. Everything else had cool ones, and literally Kingdom Hearts is like, bleh. Yeah, that's a good point. Kingdom Hearts 3 wins them. Score so. and music. For outstanding music, inclusive of score, original song, and or licensed soundtrack. Cadence of Hyrule, Brace Yourself Games, Nintendo. Death Stranding, Kojima, Kojima Productions. Mm-hmm. Death Strand, uh, t- Devil May Cry 5, Capcom, Kingdom Hearts 3, Square Enix, Serenaria, Wild Hearts, Simgo, and Imperna. Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts. I think hands down, like, is there the only thing I can hear the argument is Kate of Hyrule, literally because it's just Zelda music and everyone's gonna mm-hmm. I mean, cry. For I that. mean, most of these have music all the time, like Devil May Cry. You're it's just blasting Devil music May Cry all the time. Had awesome songs. And then Sayonara Wild Hearts. It's is, my devil trigger. <laughs> yeah, Sayonara Wild Hearts. It's, it's literally a music game. Mm-hmm. But I was like, I just like I like Disney too much, so it has to be Kingdom Hearts. Do, do, do. Do, 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 Yeah, it's like every world, do, 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 you're, just, you're just in the music. Yeah. Every world. <laughs> sports so, racing sports game. Sports racing. For the best traditional and non-traditional sports and racing game, Crash Team Racing Field, or Nitro Field, oh, Beanox wow. and Activision, Dirt Rally 2.0, Codemasters Deep Silver, eFootball Pro Evolution Soccer 2020, Konami, F1 2019, Codemasters Deep Silver, FIFA 20 EA Sports. No, oh, Madden didn't get it. I'm surprised. When I'm did mad. Forza Horizon 4 come out? Last year. So, it, 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 can it not be part of this? No. It came out last year. Oh, 2018. Yes. Oh. Like, I literally gotcha. last year. That's what I was saying. I was like, how is there not a Forza game on here? That there was no that Forza game that, this yeah, year. I forgot. Because I was about to say, that would have won. Yeah. They're holding it for next year, I assume. Yeah. Um, I don't play sports games. Crash Team Racing, then, because I've heard actually it's pretty. It looks pretty. Fun. I don't. I don't care who wins. Strategy game, best game focused on real time or turn based strategy gameplay, irrespective of platform. I swear to God, if Civ isn't on this, I'm gonna I'm gonna be upset. I'm gonna eat my mic. Age uh, of Warriors, oh, take, 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 <laughs> take your mic away. <laughs> oh, I already know who I'm giving it to. Uh, a- Anno eighteen hundred. Fire Emblem Three Houses is where I'm. I'm sure is gonna win for me. Total War Three Kingdoms, Tropical Six, where War Groove, giving it Fire Emblem. So Fire Emblem. Yep. I don't think Civ came out this year, so it's uh, kind of my fault for Civ that. Six, right? Yes. Yeah, that game's game has been out for a while. Uh, two years. That's all. Uh, yeah, two I years. forgot because yeah. uh, I what I was thinking of Civ Six came on consoles. This yeah, year. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, which I I was gonna buy the yesterday, mm-hmm. but I was like I spent too much Black Friday money, so I just left it. I'm gonna wait for a sale. V VR AR game. This, guy, this one sounds cool. For the best game experience playable in virtual or augmented reality, irrespective of platform, Asgard's Wrath. Yeah. By oh. Senzaru Games, Oculus Studios, Blood and Truth, SA, uh, Sony Interactive Entertainment, London that Studios. That looks cool. Beat Saber by Beat Games, mm-hmm. No Man's Sky, Hello Games, Trover Saves the Universe, Squanch Games. It would be between Trover and Beat Saber. I'm gonna give it to Beat Saber, but I, I, give I, it I but I give it I, I I I give it props that No Man's Sky got on here. I won't. I mean, apparently the <laughs> VR apparently the VR thing's really cool. I I'm just joking. I don't care. Beat Saber. 
for sure. I still play that thing. I actually put my VR it's away. It's my Beat Saber. <laughs> And that was the last one. That was the last one for the 2019 Game Awards, which are held December 12th. I want to say, Alex, is that correct? Yes, Thursday. Yeah, December 12th. December 12th. So mark your calendars. Get the juice ready. Get the juice. Because Daddy wants to watch Game Awards. Oh, goodness. It's exciting year, but I am not. It's not last year. You know what I mean? Mm. We didn't get any crazy releases this year, so... There's no clear-cut Game of the Year winner either for me. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I don't really care too, too much, honestly, So about this year. But it's okay. What's the what's up with these badges thingies that on this Game Award thing? Like, what are you talking about? So when I was voting, mm-hmm. I got kept, kept getting these little badges, like achievements in a way. Oh, probably to incentivize you to keep voting. Okay, because it says I have, like, one out of four badges. Or there's 12 of them. There's, I have four of them. I don't know. It's aggravating because I want to get the rest. Oh, God. See, it's working, Alex. That's what they want you to do. <laughs> they want you to keep voting. But it doesn't tell me what the other ones are. It just, it'll just pop one day. Mm. One I'm day. assuming it, it's how many categories you vote in. Because that's what, literally what it is. Voted in 10, voted in 20. Yeah, that's all it was. Download. Download. Oh, I see. Yeah, voted in... Uh, oh, Alex, I'm moving on. Go, go ahead. Go <laughs> Thank ahead, you go so ahead. much for listening to your Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast for the oh, week wow. of December. Didn't realize it was an third. Hour. If you like us, please head over to the patreon.com slash easy achievers for all your gaming news question mark. <laughs> <laughs> we just talk about things gaming wise and have fun. You just if you want to have fun with us, stick with us. Give us the five stars. Give us the likes. Give us the five star reviews. Go to our socials at Easy Achievers at EVM Nine Thousand at Crazy Subscriber on almost everything to hit us up. Everything. Um, Alex, you said something poignant a little while ago. What? And I wanted to end the show on. What? What was that you word said you said? Keen- poignant. Poignant. Yeah, poignant. It's like a something that strikes a chord with you. So like a. Attentive. Oh, okay. Like you uh, you got caught my it. attention with something okay. you said. It that is. word was too smart for me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that meant. I, anyway, thought you said, I thought you said buoyant. I'm like, you were very it, it, buoyant. It, it, earlier. Listen, I wanted influence? to bring it up to our attention. Right. Um, no. So, what? Uh, you said Kingdom Hearts three. Okay. Took forever, and we beat it in a week. Okay. Does that kind of make you think about development in a different way? specifically saying like oh um, this came out like forever but i beat it in a week because if you think about it we do that with every game that's basically ever i mean out. that's why i try to take time with some games because i mean i know that a lot of developers have put their heart and soul into these games for years mm-hmm. so when i if i beat it in a week i mean like i'm like i'm gonna go back to it because mm-hmm. i mean there's i can't just l- l- drop it in just in a week and they put what was it Kingdom Hearts 13 years we were waiting for this game mm-hmm. that's why i was like i, I every once in a while I, i'll just turn it on i, I get i get your support. reasoning i get it i think the opposite though if i beat it in such a short time it's like props like i couldn't put it down no you yeah know what i mean like a good book or something like i i was so enveloped in this yeah. i could not put this game down like kudos to you i played it for like 12 hours consecutively like yeah. what do you do for 12 hours consecutively that isn't play a video game and you have fun with yeah so that's like a good point that, that that's that was my props i just thought it was interesting because i'm sure other people think the same thing where it's where mm-hmm. the game takes three years to make we sit we're like oh thanks for the game you sit down crack your knuckles and then you wake up four days later beating the game and and like a hundred and you see credits rolling and you're like oh, yeah oh my, my thing is <laughs> when people um they'll do that mm-hmm. and then they'll be like all right what's next they'll be like but give him a second mm, like they just I see i yeah. get it yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. You, like i i'm sure to them that's um uh, not they, disheartening, they but it's like they don't Lord, enjoy it. They don't stopped. enjoy that. I just made this. Yeah, I spent four years of my like, life on this. Like, game. give me forty-eight hours to, to you know to breathe. Let me go drink. <laughs> but yeah, I just want to end on that. Thank you for your yep. um, opinion, Alex, and thank you for listening. Again, if you like that, head over to Patreon for your buck. Head over to all your podcast services. Give us a review. Give us a like. All that that helps tremendously and a lot. We're still a small ca- podcast, so we have to get all that stuff ready to promote ourselves. Thank you so much. Thank you guys you. have a great day.